Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator at the North Lambton Community Health Center. Today I have prepared a short little video to talk about healthy snacking. Making healthy snack choices are important for keeping your blood sugar levels stable. Stable blood sugars, why do you want them? Really just to keep your energy levels up so you're energized and fueled throughout the day and then also to keep your appetite under control. So what I mean by that is less cravings, more ability to manage your portions and less likely to overeat at meals. So today I have some snacks um, examples prepared and then also I plan to prepare a little healthy snack recipe with you. So this is my set up of foods that you can use for healthy snacks. So I have them separated into carbohydrate and protein foods. I'll talk first about the carbohydrate foods and they are all on this side here. So carbohydrates, that word just means that the food is going to break down into sugar and sugar is the preferred energy or fuel source for our bodies. So when we're hungry and we want to fuel our body, it's important to choose something that has carbohydrates or will give us energy. So these foods are grains and starches. So some examples that I have here are some whole grain bread in the back, whole grain cereal, whole grain crackers, or some air popped popcorn. Also fruit is a great source of carbohydrates. So whether that is fresh, um, frozen, I have some frozen thawed blueberries, or dried, like dried raisins, they are all great choices to have as a carbohydrate or fuel food. Now, when we talk about making these foods digest a bit slower, we want to include a protein-rich food along with them. And that is what I have on this side. So on this side, we have some nuts, seeds, peanut butter, hummus, uh, some Greek yogurt, a boiled egg or some cheese. These are all just some foods that are great examples of protein. And we want, when we are making a healthy snack, we want to choose one from each side of this um, display that I have. So you could do cheese and crackers as a snack. Really a classic. Or you could do something like fruit and yogurt. So why are these pairings important? Adding a protein rich food to a carbohydrate rich food really slows down how fast the sugar digests or the carbohydrate digests. This means that our blood sugars are more stable. Again, the reason that we want the slow digestion and stable blood sugars is because that is going to keep us feeling fuller longer which means we're going to be energized longer and it's easier to control portions and appetite or cravings. All right, now for the recipe portion of the video. Now, this is a super easy recipe that is just for a peanut butter yogurt dip and it just requires two ingredients. So the two ingredients that you need to have are obviously peanut butter. What I have here is a natural peanut butter. It's a crunchy one, um, but really you can use any peanut butter. This is just what I had in the house. You can use crunchy, smooth, whatever. And then the second ingredient that you need is yogurt. So the yogurt that I have here is a vanilla skier yogurt. So it's just a thicker texture yogurt. Ooh, I'm almost spilling it that is higher in protein and typically lower in sugar than other traditional yogurts. So the last thing you need is a bowl and I usually say to mix the dip with a fork. It really does tend to mix it a bit better. But all you wanna do is put the peanut butter in And the yogurt in. And 
then you just go ahead and mix until it is smooth and combined. Now, optionally, you could add extra vanilla extract if you really like a vanilla flavor, or you could add um, cinnamon, sprinkle a little bit, um, I would say maybe half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of cinnamon in with the dip. And it's really good. Oh, another optional ingredient would be chocolate chips or chopped dark chocolate on top. But this dip is really great when you serve it with fruit. So apple slices, banana slices. Um, you could also serve it with things like graham crackers if you spread it on them. But it is a really delicious high protein dip that you can serve it with a carbohydrate rich food. It is great for adults and children alike. All right, well, there you have it. I'm gonna go enjoy my snack.